A former dean at USC is now linked to a drug overdose with his alleged prostitute girlfriend. He said she was sitting up in bed and yeah, passed out. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a doctor, actually, so. He was the dean of the university's School of Medicine until he resigned last year. Now his secret life is being revealed that some claim involved a circle of criminal friends and drug use. New tonight, CBS 13's Angela Greenwood joins us now with more on this scandal at USC. And Angela, this is, I mean, this is nothing short of remarkable, these allegations. Very shocking stuff here, you guys. And the dark side of this, Dean, did come to light following an overdose by an alleged prostitute in his presence. In a report by the LA Times, the woman claims the world renowned doctor paid for her living expenses, bought her drugs, and even used drugs himself. Institute of Urology. This is video of Dr. Carmen Poliafito, the former dean of the USC Keck School of Medicine. He's seen here hobnobbing with celebrities like Jay Leno at a gala in 2014. So next year. And this is him speaking at a conference last year, just months after he resigned from his leadership job at USC. Today, Poliafito was the focus of an LA Times report in which he was linked to a drug overdose involving a young woman who the paper says worked as a prostitute. The Pasadena Police Department released this 911 call that came in from a Pasadena hotel. My girlfriend here had a bunch of drinks. And uh, she's breathing. Right now? Yeah, she's absolutely breathing. Okay. Is she absolutely vomiting at all? No. She said she was sitting up in bed and yeah, passed out. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a doctor, actually. So. Oh, okay. All right. A Pasadena City spokesman says no charges were filed because the overdose wasn't fatal. The young woman told the Times she and the doctor were constant companions for more than a year and a half, and that Poliafito used drugs with her, including methamphetamine, and sometimes brought her and other members of their circle to the USC campus after hours to party. And there was at least one video in which Poliafito displays an orange pill on his tongue and says into the camera, thought I'd take an ecstasy. In California, there are about 3 million patients. Today, USC told us Poliafito is currently on leave from his roles at USC, including seeing patients. If the assertions reported in the July 17 Los Angeles Times story are true, we hope that Carmen receives care and treatment that will lead him to a full recovery. And according to California Medical Board's website, the doctor does have a clean record, but some very troubling allegations. Well, I haven't heard anything least. like this. I mean, he was way up there at way USC, up. a very right. high-ranking wow. official. Just shocking. Mm. Yeah. Angela, okay. thanks.